Hello everyone, welcome to another stream. Can I get some bananas in chat? Oh wow, people have already got bananas going for me. Oh man, 24, thank you for the bananas. Um, I completely forgot to do the music, so I now need to quickly drag a bunch of albums onto a playlist, which will only take a second. Let's go for Crinkles 11, <laughs> uh, Crinkles 8, just picking some random numbers here. Let's go with 7 and 4. Yeah, they're the soundtracks we'll listen to today. Love this Crinkles music, just so good stuff to have on in the backdrop. So let's sort out the volume. Let's not have a repeat of last time. There we go. Bam, there we go. Awesome. Except I can't hear anything. Hmm, that should work. We'll see. We'll see shortly. Yep, there it is. Okay, I can hear it now. Beef EX says, hype for music. Hype indeed. TMB ready, welcome back again. You changed the colour of your name. Crafter3660 saying, bananas X. Bananas, get them. Cheers. <laughs> Alright then peeps, so the pre-stream music was Animals as Leaders, the song was called Another Year. Lots of you are asking for the name of that one, so there you go, go look that song up, amazing band. Their uh, lead guitarist is extremely talented, <laughs> extremely, not using that word lightly. Also thanks buddy for the uh, purple slime. Let's uh, remove this right here, not sure if we're going to use that, I'm not even sure what we're going to be doing this episode, I am very, very unprepared have a slight idea of uh, what we might be doing. We need a bananas emote, says our man. We do. We absolutely do. I am actually like in contact with someone who might make us some emotes in the next year. So we ran out of um, essence over here. I did say I wanted to make a little contraption to control the production of essence berries, which would be a cool idea. Uh, we might be wise to make a sort of sugar cane and glowing reed farm. <laughs> That might be a good idea. I've got no idea how we would do that. Uh, Car Creator says, I remember the time when you were streaming without music. Yeah, I was streaming. I feel like, oh man, something's just not right today. I'm not in the streaming mood. And then after a while, I was like, oh, there's no music on. Put on the music. Everything felt all right. We could build another farm down here. Still no octuple. We need to farm lapis at some point. There's so much that we need to do left, right, and center. Um, I think, though, what would be smart to do is to put some witches in here and farm some redstone to begin with. So this is kind of unacceptable at the moment, <laughs> basically. Uh, I did pick up a few things though. You see, I left this thing running and it didn't really do much. I couldn't quite figure out why. I think the mobs might despawn. So maybe if we renamed them, then they wouldn't. Now if we rename these ones, that'll be okay. If we rename witches, they'll cost more. I think we should go in search of a witch. How about that? We grab some safari nets, we go on a little bit of an exploration slash adventure and we try and find ourselves some witches. That might actually be a little bit tricky. Safari is not how you spell it. <laughs> uh, we may also find some other cool stuff on the way as well, so let's take a whole bunch of these. Let's take some food, all the apples will do, and we'll go in search of a couple of witches. What food do we have? Dimensional bread. All good. Let's eat a notch apple. Just to regen our health there. Oh, I had two. <laughs> I thought I put one there. Cool. An exploration, says Karlovev. Yep, we're sort of doing an exploration. I I'm in the middle of a jungle biome. We could we could end up flying around for a long time here. Uh, maybe we should go investigate other people's Hey, this could be like an excuse for us to do a little bit of a tour. <laughs> We'll just visit each person's base one by one and see if anyone's near a swamp. Red tech first of all. Ha! Inverted skyblocks fooling me around. I've been here before. Can we go up? We can. That is crazy looking. This appears to be the top. So red tech is in a mesa biome. And if we press F3A and get this all loading properly, let's see what other sorts of biomes it borders. Grey Worm says, hey X, do you have your tea today? I have a, uh, a double mocha chocker today instead. Ah, delicious. Nobby Nuts says, if you need witches, go to someone's base. That's literally what I'm doing. Uh, I'm assuming you're meaning someone who already has witches, which is possibly Red Tech. Red Tech might have some witches, but we're just looking for a biome at the moment. 
Who knows? Good to see other bases, but at night witches will spawn on those plains biomes near you as well. Very good point. We can also spawn these types of creatures in. Ones from the Aether. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so there might be a Magnum Torch, but this is not a bad place to look, is it? It's all... It's actually really flat, isn't it? And that looks kind of odd. It's very flat. That must be something to do with the mods. Okay, so skeletons and endermen. Uh, one thing though, who can tell me? This is 1.7, so will witches actually spawn outside? I got a feeling that was a 1.8 change. There is a blitz. What are they? Quick. Quick. Ugh. Get them. Bam. Did I get it? I got it. Oh my god, I stole one. Wow. I have no idea what it is, but we have one. <laughs> We'll have to find out what those things drop. So cool. So cool. Emezkaru is saying, I have a witch spawner. And you're not online, but we can find signs to your base. Okay, cool. I like the idea of exploring a little bit first. How far we'll go. I'm pretty sure we won't find witches by exploring like this, by the way. It's one point. It's 1.7, not 8, said Sonic Boom RBD. I'm assuming you're saying it's 1.7 that we can do that? Oh, it looks like a red tech has a neighbour over here. Whose base is this? I don't think I've been here yet. And <laughs> someone is in their base as well. Let's have a look. It's Tesgri. Awesome. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oakwood pillar. Forge microblocks. That looks really good. I like that a lot. I approve. <laughs> yeah, this is looking real nice, isn't it? Oh wow, what texture is that? Dark oak wood planks. They look really nice. They look like they've been like finished and polished and everything. Let's go and oh my god, this is so fancy and lovely. And there's some carpets there. Awesome. Oh wow, that looks really cool. They're like stairs with bookshelves. Oh, this is sweet. What's in here? Oh my god, the amount of enchantments there is crazy. And there as well. Crazy stuff. Oh, this is seriously cool. I could get totally distracted in here. <laughs> well, I love how this is coming along. I need to. I need some f more free time at the moment to just wander around this place and look at everything. Oh, that looks so cool. And look at these bushes! Yes, that is the way to think with mods. Make things a little bit smaller and they look awesome. Make them into walls. Oh, so he's got some farms over here. What is that thing? A fertilizer. Ah! Ah, yeah, I guess that probably makes it grow a little faster. Right, what are you? A chronotyper. Moving babies. Interesting. It moves them over here. Then we've got a grinder and a slaughterhouse. Wow, I don't even know what half this stuff's done, but it's really cool. I like this over here. I want to do something similar to that uh, in my base, actually. Get, like, different colours of sheep. That reminds me, while we're out here, we'll have to steal some flowers from nearby. That glowstone looks cool as well. That's some chisel. Oh, <laughs> into the ground you go. Is there something down here I want to see? <gasps> oh, that looks cool. It's got that kind of void feeling to it. So we've got going on over here. Pfft, a meat packer. I don't even know what is all of this is doing. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, let's uh, let's not get too distracted here. Where we, oh wow, a graveyard. It's creepy. Let's go over here and grab. Uh, like a flower of each colour while we while we're around. Uh, maybe we should go a little further. Ooh, wow. Someone has built a tower over here. Oh my god, that looks seriously cool. Huh. Looks absolutely brilliant. I was looking at tower designs the other day. I was gonna build like a tower around my melon and pumpkin ones on Hermitcraft and I couldn't find or couldn't build anything that really like felt right. I could find plenty of good designs, but yeah, towers are towers are a tough one. I like the way this is done a lot. That looks seriously cool. How do we get in there? How do we get in there? Maybe we can't. <laughs> I really want to go inside, but I don't know where the door is. That looks like a door. Oh yes, I love these steps. That looks awesome. That looks really cool. Oh my days. Alright, we'll have a quick peek in here as well. We're being nosy today, just looking at everything. I'm assuming this is the way up. No. Kinda looks like it's like you're supposed to go here and do something. That's just gonna drop me down. Maybe that's the way we get up. Ha, I found some things. 
That looks like a Tinker's Smell Tree. And then there's this kind of like floor layout. Actually, I've been here before. This this feels very familiar, this bit. Is there a teleporter nearby? Also, what is with this? Hmm. Uh, I'm getting totally distracted. Totally, well and truly distracted. Let's focus on the mission at hand, which was to find a witch. So we'll continue to go and look for bits and bobs. I'm just going to fly out here and pick out some flowers from somewhere a little further away. So I don't want to mess with everything else that's going on. Looks like they've got a pathway down there. That probably leads to some sort of underground base. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Cool. Right, so what we got? We got red. That's also red. I'm assuming that's white. Yeah, I just want to get one of each dye, really. White dye, that's like bone meal. Pansy's probably going to yellow. That's going to be pink. Orange, purple, and yellow. Yeah, we we'll, we'll use these on sheep, by the way, if I haven't made that clear. Lavender is probably some sort of purple. That's maybe light blue. And yeah, if we use these on each of the sheep, then what we can do is just make a farm that gives us every colour of dye. Oh, sorry, every colour of uh, wood. Wood. Whoa! Oh my god! Words, please. Is that black? Is that going to be black dye? You often find witches in the night, says TMB Ready. Yes, but we're in 1.7. We didn't quite establish which way around that's going to work. So we've got some lavender over here. Hi. Tiny cactus. Is that going to be anything? Oh, we've missed these ones down here. We've got pink. We got yellow, orange. That's also gonna be Oh, a witch! Oh, I think Tesgri gave me Oh wait a minute. Is that a witch spawn egg? Oh wow, crazy. Don't hurt yourself, you. Bam. Thank you very much. That's awesome. We need uh we need two of them though. I do need to find another one. Let's have a look. We've got blue iris and purple iris. Right, so there's like different flowers and they come in different Variants, that's interesting. What is that thing going to be? Light blue, there we go. Oh, I need to think about what colours we need here. Car creator says, Tesgreed's stalking you. I think he is just trying to give us a witch, or was. <laughs> right, I see lime over here. I see some sheep as well. We'll have enough sheep back at our uh, base though. So that's six colours right there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we are missing five more colours. And as always, a little bit tricky to remember. I think four of them are... No, two of them are greys. I'm not sure what the other ones are back. Okay, Tesgri says he has a second... Uh, a second egg or something. Which is all good. So what are we missing here? Pink. We've got magenta. Uh, orange, yellow. Cactus green would be one. It would... Awesome, let's grab let's grab this witch. Sweet, thank you ever so much. That's awesome. Right, we've got two witches. Their health is 26. What? Witches have more health than 20? I didn't know that. You need orange. We've got orange right there, my friend. Sonic Boom. We'll suss it out when we get back to base. Alright, I guess we're not exploring then. We've got these, uh, these witches. I want to pick up some sugar cane as well. And start a farm for that. Also, what is that stuff over there on the right hand side? This right here, what is that? Bells of Ireland? Oh, lime dye. Oh, we've already got some of that. Cool stuff. Alright, let's head back towards the tower then and find a way out of here. Hey X, what are we doing? says Isa Dox. Not really got a plan today. Just collecting some dyes and. Uh, just having a look around for some witches, but we've got those now, so that's all good. Let's have a sip of this. Yeah, really didn't have much of a plan at all today. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. Hey, and we're back. Let's reload the world. We are this... This one right here, that's us. Okay, over we go. Read the chat, says Mario with 2002 stuck in the middle. I am reading the chat. It goes by very fast. Ricky Media says, extra drink. Thanks for the reminder. I have been sipping on it. All of these have dye in their names, so we can search dye in here. And we can see them all. 
And we might be able to see some of the other ones we've picked up as well. No, that appears to be all of them, doesn't it? Alright, so we're going to go chuck the witches in the farm. And I th want to think about how we're going to kill them. I think we might just use a grinder, you know. For now. That's going to put all of the drops back into here. So we'd need ender chests as well. Right, we don't have any grinders. Let's craft ourselves a grinder or two. Uh, I seem to be scrolling over there and not in this menu for some reason. So, mine factory reloaded. Which one is the grinder? X, how are you flying, says Mr. Noob. Uh, I have a belt, the runic belt, and it allows me to fly. And it costs the Neverstar as well. Grinder. Bam. Piston, sword, book, plastic. Pistons. Was it sword, book? Should have lots of books. There we go. And plastic. And we got plenty of that. That's good. So then we just need some sticks and gold. Ah, we're getting better at this. The old crafting. Okay. And we'll make it over here. I remember correctly. Yeah, it was that way around, wasn't it? Right, and that gives us one. Okay, so we'll take like four again, I think. Actually, no, we've got all the conveyors pushing them over to one place. We'll just take two. Then we need a couple of ender chests. One, two. We need a couple of diamonds. One, two. And we need a way to power them, which will be tesseracts at this point. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can pull this off with just one. We have to take out the other one. Use Tesseracts instead of Ender Chests, they're way better. Ha, huh, yeah, we haven't actually hooked up Ender Chests for uh, items yet, but we'll just use this for now. So, uh, this thing hasn't been working out too well, because it's not using beheading after all of that effort we went through. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's, it's typical, isn't it? So what we'll do is have the grinders like this. we we'll have to swap those over. Is that the correct way to do it? I can see there's a little... Yeah, there's a range. Right, so... Everything will get pushed into that area. Those things are going to attack it. How they're going to be powered, we're going to use a Tesseract. And we're going to put this on frequency 800, which is this main. Let's configure it to receive only. Yes, that is all good. Cool, these are now receiving energy, right? They're already full. That is remarkably fast, actually. That's suspiciously fast. They don't have any... No, they create essence, don't they? Ah, yes, that's right. Okay, let's go up here and uh, mess around with this. So we don't want an exact copy, we just want a witch. Same on this side as well. The witch in there, no exact copy. And uh, step back and they should, shouldn't take too long to start spawning. Is there tea in the mod pack? Because this is X's mod pack, says Danny. Yes, there is tea. I saw something happen. Yep, the witches are spawning. Right, is that going to be... A steady supply of stuff. Oh, this is interesting. They're still going to drink their potions. Ah, but they still get killed. So there's got, got to be a better way to do this because we want them to uh, to die efficiently and quickly, don't we? Fascinating stuff. But they spawn so much faster. Right, and where are the items going? Am I just picking them up at this point? I think I am because our grinders don't have chests. So what we'll do is plop these down. And then we'll break these diamond blocks to put diamonds on. Funny enough. One there. One here. And now we're all poisoned. <laughs> well done. Well done, all of you. I wonder if... Oh, i got to behead one of these. I've absolutely got to do that. With my magical sword. Come over here. I want to behead. Why are they all, like, dying with full damage now? Hey, you. You want your head? <laughs> it's not going to happen, is it? Oh, here we go. Bam, bam, bam. I don't think they drop heads in this pack. I really don't. I don't think we're going to be that lucky. We've got a head. Nah, we're not going to get one. I don't think they exist. For witches, let's eat a notch apple and gain our health back. Remove the spike, says uh, Adripet. And the spike will only bring them down to one heart. So effectively, I think it should be good. But yeah, thanks. Uh, the ones that fall down at the back, they then come over to here 
That one's getting hit. It's a bit hard to tell really. Some of them seem to fall down and die pretty quickly and some of them take a little bit longer. The MC Lizard says they don't drop heads. That's good to know. Thanks for letting me know. Right, so that was originally going to be a Wither Skeleton Farm. It'll be a Witch Farm temporarily. And for how long, I don't know. I want to think about all the things we can do. Right, these Safari Nets are going back. I should probably have left the Wither Skeleton ones in that room. We'll chuck just all of this stuff in here for now. Bones can go in there. Diamond blocks and gunpowder and I'll sort it out later. Right, so what I want to see is if the redstone is going to go up there. We've got 12... We've also got something taking redstone out as well, actually. Maybe we should measure it from this one over here. So we've got 21 and 5. Pop back down. Grinder is having idle, says Vanka. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Also, that dark glass. Just put it there. <laughs> right, so it's idling. And then it goes... It's full of essence as well. Did we ever hook the other ones up to the essence? I think we did. I think they've got like ender tanks underneath. Oh, Biff is here in chat. Hello, buddy. How's it going? We're playing the mods, believe it or not. No, that was for energy underneath. Right, so these things have been sitting here of essence and not doing anything with it. So if we use tesseracts on the ba back of them to send and receive items, then they could take the fluids and put them into... Yeah, the uh, the other thing. Hmm. Alp, we are uh, not doing too much this stream because I don't have much of a plan. We've been searching for witches and we found some and now we're checking on the redstone. Did I say 4 and 21? I remember saying 21, so that number is definitely going up. Okay, so it's all working. Right, let's go and have a look at the systems and stuff we want to revise. Dinosaurs DG says, have you ever heard of Hearthstone? Of course, I've heard of Hearthstone, uh, but never really played it or checked it out too much, I guess. Okay, so I talked about, what did I talk about? We want to, if this is full, we're going to turn that thing off. So what we need is uh, some sort of interactive comparator around here. I've got a feeling comparators won't interact with stuff like Essence Drums. Just a guess. Do we have any comparators? No, apparently. Quartz is another thing I need to farm soon. We're only going to make the one. Uh, redstone torch. We has none. Okay. Sticks. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, a little bit of stone and we can craft this. You need green and brown. Ah, Redstone Junior Freak, you're right. Brown is one of the ones that we need. And we're near a jungle... Well, we are in a jungle biome, so that shouldn't be an issue. Alright, let's go down and have a look. Got a feeling this won't work, but we'll find out. Oh! Oh! Oh my days! Alright, now I need some redstone. Why didn't I bring redstone in case it did work? That's foolish. That is foolish. X, what's your favourite technical mod? I don't know. I really like chisel, but that's definitely not technical. Give me blocks. A couple of blocks. There we go. Right, okay. Uh, I know what we're doing here now then. We're going to need... Oh my god, we're going to need a block of redstone, possibly... Um... <laughs> Do you know what? I don't want to go back and forth again, but I, I'm i going to have to go look at it to figure out what we need. Right, this is going to be cool. I like it. So, we have... Uh, oh, We have a signal. The question is, how big is the signal? Uh, we don't want to mess around with anything else here. Let's just whack redstone down on all of this. Right, so it looks to me like that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 of 15. That would suggest roughly around half. And it looks like we're roughly around... Uh, not quite half, but not far from it either. So, how can we manipulate this test? We could power this thing, and it would stop taking, right? 
Right, it just stopped moving. And our signal length is the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's the same. All right, so now we want to make lots of essence. We do that by basically spamming. <laughs> I am picking this up, which is unfortunate. There we go, we're no longer picking it up. Right, is that going to come in fast enough for us to do a live test? I think it is, you know. Uh, <laughs> as I say, it, maybe not. I just want to check and see if this feels reasonable or not. Here's one thing to consider. The way comparators usually work, as soon as you have something in, it turns on. So the rest from basically, if you consider one out of that massive number, it's almost like non-existent. You're actually counting between... 14 numbers, so 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 would be half. It's gone up one. Right, I, I think we don't really need to go overboard with testing this. It seems pretty obvious that um, the way it works is like the vanilla way. So let's assume that it is, and let's think about what we do next. Uh, what do we do next? Also, we picked up a load of... Look, we're picking up the XP, so it can't pick it up as fast as we were doing right there. We might want to figure out what the optimal rate to do this is. To do that, uh, to do this at is <laughs> English. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to end up building this thing out of stone, which we probably don't want to do, so we'll get out our chisel. We'll make the redstone. Hey, do you know what? I reckon like laboratory blocks would look really good for, for a redstone. So we'll go grab some of those. We're going <laughs> to... I, I should have stayed there and looked at it a little bit more. Okay. Hopefully you guys don't mind me going back and forth. It's going to happen. Let's make our redstone with... Yeah, we'll take those and chisel it. Oh, I've also got one of those lying around. Okay. That one right there. We'll use that. Yep, correct room. Right, so... We are going to... Put a power source next to it. Like... You know, I'm going to put a redstone block there, and that's going to have power on it. We're going to put it into subtract mode, and now it's only going to turn on if this is full, if I'm correct. So we do actually want to check, or sorry, test that. We don't have, do you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to remove this. I should have just locked it, but I've decided to destroy it. And how many have we got here? Right, that should do. Oh, there it is. I didn't pick it up. From which mod is the storehouse? I do believe it's from Practicalities or Quantum Flux, Blue Wilder. I think it's Quantum Flux in this pack. Okay, so... Let's think about this. That's basically going to turn on when it's full. And that just needs to meet something here. So we could have a... No, we can't have a piston with a redstone block. We just need to point power into like this block here. Uh, do you know what? I should have used concrete because that looks really ugly. And the way we can do that is like that. Oh my god, look at that redstone. Look at that redstone. That's all we need. Right. <laughs> amazing. I'm going to go get some concrete. That is the most amazing redstone ever. It literally is just that. I'm going to do this with concrete because it looks way better. Looks way better. Pandora's Mask says, I'd love to join the Patreon server. I'm really having a hard time economically lately at the moment. That's really sad and inconvenient. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Just uh, just stick at it, man. You'll pull through. The bad times always pass. Right, what did we come here for? Concrete. Yeah, concrete. So we'll take that concrete. We'll use that for the redstone. And what we built down there is like pretty much sufficient. So now we just need to figure out the optimal timing for the farm to run on. And then it's good to go, I think. Right, look at that. Way too much XP. So for, uh, for now, we'll take this off. What is going, what's going on here? That's weird. I'm sort of like jerking around a little bit. Okay. We'll do this. By the way, if, uh, if I'm incorrect about this, it just means just means we move it back by one block so the signal strength is lower. Right, I really did think there might be a lot of redstone here, but I can't believe that that's actually it. Uh, also, let's make those ones a little bit smoother. 
Is it me, or is that thing still activating like crazy? Yes, it is. Okay. Taking the stone out didn't seem to work. Right, let's do that again. And just put that... I've done the wrong block. It's really annoying. How did I do that? Just wasn't paying attention. Right. <laughs> Seems to be having trouble doing the basics today. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Right, that will now detect what's in here. When it's full, it's going to unlock this system. So now what we want to do is sort of get rid of all the XP in there. Um, how are we going to do this? There we go. We've now collected all of it, I think. Nope, not all of that. There we go. We collected all of that. Right. So what's the deal with these collecting things? They're all empty, so they should be able to work at a normal pace, which is good. Do they require energy to run? They don't, they just run passively, don't they? Okay, so let's say we start off with like maybe eight blocks in there. I reckon that's not going to be enough, 12. I'll put 12 in. Uh, we're also not full yet. Yeah, we want to see this thing fill up. Okay, so we'll let it do its thing. It's still taking it's still taking bits and bobs actually. I've got a feeling some of these around the back here. Yeah, look, they're still got essence. This thing isn't fast enough, that'll probably be why. It needs a speed upgrade. Okay, so we'll make it a speed upgrade. By the way, we're now farming redstone and gold. Is this thing still running? Is it gonna run around the clock even though I'm not nearby it? I hope it is because uh, we can make loads of speed upgrades. The MC Lizard says, X, if you slap it with a chisel, you don't have to break it. Extremely good point. I am just silly, aren't I? Right, that's not working because we've taken the essence offline. It takes my brain a moment to uh, to catch up. Danny is suggesting that a stack upgrade would work. I'm going to guess that probably does work with fluids. For now, we'll make some speed upgrades, which are those things. Uh, the recipe involves a lot of redstone and a lot of gold, so give me tons of gold, give me all that, wait a minute, that's only got 24 and 2, surely that should have a little bit more redstone, what's going on over here, ha, huh. well we might have to be careful with this supply then, um, we will look at the recipe, bam, okay. And then was it redstone blocks around the outside? Yeah, it's actually still quite expensive, isn't it? Okay, can we see the gold? Let's put it on the opposite side. That way when we walk around we can see that that one's in that spot and it's all good. Okay, this is going to make a difference, at least for now. Right, and now we're going to pick up all of that, aren't we? There we go, picked it up. Okay, this is full and, aha, look, it didn't power the thing in front of it, so what it might then need is for that signal to be a little further away. Right, is that correct? Because it's in subtract. Oh, I think I... Uh-oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's weird. BM Jepic says, Hi Asuma, I'm driving trains. Interesting. You're driving trains. Multiple trains. I don't think you're a train driver then. Ah, uh, is it me? Right. So if that's full... Right, this thing doesn't give a full output when it's full. That's fascinating. Okay, so... Problem is, if that goes down, this is going to override it, right? Yeah, I think I just got my wires crossed in my head. It's a bit weird doing vanilla redstone with modded. Not sure if they're going to do the right thing or not. So, it's going to lock it when it's pretty much full. Which it apparently isn't doing. No, it is. Why did that... Oh, probably because I've been messing around with this. Uh, also, I've now <laughs> removed something I shouldn't have done. Okay, so we're going to collect all of this 
this stuff with the speed upgrades a little bit faster. And we need to figure out the optimal timing for this bit. I think what we should do is return this transfer node like that for liquids. And the essence can start to leave the drum. I think. Oh, BM Jepix says, I'm driving trains in Train Simulator 2015. Fair enough. So how are you driving t t multiple trains? That's what I'm concerned about. Oh. Okay, anyway. Right, why is there like... Okay, that's still taking tons of stuff, isn't it? Right, I, we've got a buffer. That's what the problem is. We've got, look, we've got a big buffer of this stuff. So, I think the farm is going to be like quite efficient until there's more... Sorry, inefficient until there's more speed upgrades here. Anyway, that now means Essence is going to the Witch Farm, which means we should be able to start gathering a little bit more redstone. Let's have a look. Yep, there go the witches. It looked like a couple of them died straight away, didn't it? I shouldn't be high enough to kill them. <laughs> X, you can't get away from redstone, can you? Says Skillum777. Indeed. Walter Smith says, My name is Walter. If that's your real name, I've never heard that name before. So congratulations on the rare and secretive name. I really like obscure names, actually, ones you don't hear too often. Okay, so they've got all the essence they need. They're doing their thing. Um, we're not going to see the redstone appear in the ender chest, are we? Oh, no, sticks. There you go. You do get to see it for a second. Bottles, gunpowder, redstone, glowstone. Awesome. All of that stuff is being farmed. It is being farmed. Falk says, For dinner tonight I am having beef burgers with haggis. Are you Scottish? Isn't haggis a Scottish food? I also have no idea what haggis is. But for some reason, I think Scottish. Hey, maybe another thing we could do today is uh, a little bit of work on our storage. We've got tons of items we need to put over here. Right, so this is probably slowly going up now. And we should use it to fix our other farm. It's weird because we need to to use all of this to get that thing working correctly. Probably makes sense, might not make sense. Let's put those in there, just leave it leave it alone. Right, so some more, oh, let's try a stack upgrade as well. Yep, and I just had another idea. Let's grab another Tesseract. They're gonna be in here. Might wanna craft some more of those as it goes soon. By the way, X your drink, says Ricky Media. Thank you again. I'll drink some more. Light Shadow says, what's the most exotic food you've eaten? I, d I really don't know. But immediately I thought some sort of obscure animal, maybe. That's usually what constitutes something exotic, is if it's an animal. I can't really think of a plant or other sort of food that gets considered exotic. Right, let's chuck that there. Let's set this up as... Um, Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> what am I doing? We don't need any of this anymore because we can put it directly on top of this thing. Bam. No, that's not a bam. That's a bam. Right, let's go with 800. This main, we are going to receive fluids and receive energy. Yes. Right, so this thing should be able to run around the clock now. And if we just patch up this roof with a little bit of stone, obviously that's going to look the nicest. Come back and do this later, right? No, apparently I made it a one, one wide hole. Right. Okay. Why is it not spawning anything? I've had seals, says Light Shadow. Interesting. Oh, it's on. Let's turn it off. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Right, we're making emeralds again. I think. Are we making emeralds again? Yeah, we're making emeralds again. Around the clock. Bam, non-stop emeralds. What tea are you drinking? Uh, Buddha, today it is not a tea. It is a double chocolate mocha thing. I've also had pig intestines, says Light Shadow. That sounds absolutely disgusting. Hey X, what's your uh, favourite ACD song? Oh my god, um, 
Shake a leg, I think. I think it's Shake a Leg. I just try to. It's been like I used to listen to that record when I was a kid, just over and over again, back to back, with uh, Metallica's "Ride the Lightning." And there's one song towards the end of the record that I always like waited for. I think it was "Shake a Leg." Pretty sure it's "Shake a Leg." <laughs> All right, all right. Um, let's put a stack upgrade in this one. Right, it looks like it's fully emptied. Also, this thing is running. Okay, I think we're actually seeing it in action now. It is sort of doing what it's supposed to do. So, yeah, look at that. It's almost full. Right, and then it comes back on because it's full. Wow, and then it goes off because we're taking more. If it continues to do that, it would appear that it's going all right but what I'm thinking is we want to get this thing running as fast as possible so let's ignore this for a moment because we might take more from this bit in the future also um, couldn't this thing do with a speed upgrade or two I don't no, I don't think that would really make a difference a stack upgrade might right so we're producing more essence than we can deal with what we need to see I need to take off my magnet we need to see the essence like appear and disappear in time. I don't know how we're really going to do this. Right, and then it's gone. It looks like it looks to me like it could go about half the speed. So I think we put 12 in there, right? Let's just put 8. And maybe we'll come back later and we'll say, "Hey, can we make this better?" But for now, I think we're done with this project. I think that is running at a reasonable speed. It will lock itself when it's full. And I like it. It's really... Oh my god, what happened over here? What happened over here? Oh, I think I know. Do they, they, they're not attacking in a radius, are they? They're just attacking what servers in front of them, right? Like one mob at a time? Oh, so it spawns too fast. That being said, we're sort of getting on top of it now. And now they're all gone. Huh, I wonder if they behave differently when I'm, like, not in the same area. Hmm. That is fascinating stuff. Milo says, my favourite ACDC song is You Sick Me All Night Long. I think you mean Shook. I really like that song too. That one come to mind as well. But Shake a Leg, I think, is my favourite. Now Suma has Ride the Lightning in background for me. I absolutely love that album. It's not on right now. Don't know what you mean by in the background. Um, okay, so that's another thing done. That is another thing done. I was just thinking, what else do we want to upgrade with our new source of redstone? Probably this stuff as well. This stuff over here. If this is a light mod pack, then what is a heavy mod pack, says Mastermind. Um, it is like a kitchen sink pack. Like 150 mods plus, you know? Like this list right here would be absolutely loaded with different mods. Anyway, I want to look at something quickly. I want to look at something. I think it's Scanny's End. It's going to have... Yes, that thing right there. End Flower. Can anyone tell me what that is? Or how we get it? Because there's nothing... No uses? Oh, right. We can get uses. I've got a feel like, feeling this is going to be a finite thing. Emulator? That sounds cool. What can that be used for? Volcanic Furnace. Interesting. Does that just generate out of nothing? I don't know. I don't know. Raw Endium, what other things got here? Entity Shifter. Speedy Basic Hopper. Exclusive Filtering Hopper. Advanced Exclusive. That sounds really cool, actually. Uh, do you have any magic mods on the Mod Pack X, Mr. Noob? No, we do not, unfortunately. Not really a fan of the magic mods that I've seen, so I didn't include any. A flower from the end says, "Say gratis to good blub blub." <laughs> uh, can you tell me if this is a farmable item in any way? This ender flower. That's what I need to know. Is this a Suminati? Yes, it is. Uh, D Nav Navri? No, Nariv. D Nariv. Ah, crazy name. <laughs> it's not actually that bad. Even the simplest ones get me. Ah, that's the crafting recipe that doesn't work at the moment, right there. It's like the Ender Lily, says the MC Lizard. Yes, yes it is. Um, it is like the Ender Lily, but can we get a hold of it as an item? 
And can we farm it? It's this right here, isn't it? Right, but that says Ender Lily when we look at it, so that probably means it would harvest as an Ender Lily. Actually, it's not quite the same, is it? Yes, Bone Mill Enderstone. Uh, Endstone says the Hamfish 12. You, my friend, may be the best person ever. Let's go check it out. Aha, we might discover something very cool. Endstone's going to be over here. I like the look of this. Okay, Bone Mill, please. We need to get a fresh supply of bone meal though to make this next step work let's do a little experiment let's get a three by three going down and let's give it some bone meal nothing what nothing 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 <laughs> bone mealing endstone what are we on about are we on about endstone brick or a different type of endstone it's not like an ender lily a simple guy with no need says never going to give you up <laughs> then we're going to let you down. <laughs> oh, right. How did you get those ender lily seeds? I can't even remember, Maxine. I think maybe in a chest. In the end, says Buckaclark. Okay, I think I think the dragon has been conquered and it would be safe for us to go to the end. Do we have a stronghold on the server? Because we could put a chunk loader there and build a farm that runs around the clock. Only works in the end. Fascinating. Right, so who can tell me um, if we have an end portal thing configured? Let's go have a look. So I've got something cool to show you if we can farm these things. Try in the end. Yes, we will. X, you can twerk in Minecraft. Can you twerk in Minecraft? We did this before. Yes, you can. Alright. Calm down. Oh, let's see. Uh, I don't think we're going to see like an end portal here, or at least signposted. What server is it said pay the pro? It is the uh, Asuma Mod Pack Patreon server. Tempez says, we just rickrolled the entire stream. Good for you, buddy. That song is awesome. Right, uh, is anything here like Ender sort of looking? This is a bit Endery, isn't it? Stronghold! Oh my god, it worked! Oh wow! Oh, look at what people have done here. Oh, nice work. Eyes of Ender. Yes, that's Eyes of Ender. Villager? I think the villager escaped. Oh, that looks seriously cool. What a nice combination of blocks they are. Oh, it's not lit. Right, but there were 12 Eye of Enders down here. Does it reset itself? That's interesting. Uh, I'm slightly worried now because... Right, Autumn's online. Autumn, can you let me know in chat if you're watching? If, I tell you what, I'm going to go in there. If it turns out that I might die again, then I'm just going to like come back to the overworld somehow using cheaty hacky stuff. <laughs> Whatever means we have, because they defeated the Ender Dragon, I'm sure of it. Right, and immediately I want to fly and feel very scared, but no. <gasps> Say what? F3A. What exploded? Okay, no, it's been defeated. There's a portal over here. Why did something have to explode? <laughs> that was annoying. Right, don't look at the Enderman. But, boom. Oh my god. Right, yes, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, we can make these out of bone mill. <sighs> right, okay, let me show you my crazy idea, right? So if we go for uses for this. Oh, we can make enderpearls with them. And those things. Right, some are. Right, look at that. Duplicating items. We can duplicate all of the dyes, which includes lapis. We can make a lapis farm. How cool is that? How cool is that? Zero Sugar, welcome back to the stream, buddy. And that's all you can do with it. I thought there was one more thing that might... Oh, wait! We can duplicate the bone mill that we use to grow it. Because it's one bone mill, one use. You could give it, you know, one piece of bone mill and it could be self-sufficient. That's absolutely nuts. I love it. Okay, that's what we're building here in the end. We're going to get a spot loader. We're going to go ham. We're going to go absolute ham. Actually, we'll, we'll get a chunk loader. Right, we've got a project. How does that sound? Bone, uh, bone mill? Lapis farm and bone mill farm because it will be self-sufficient. Wait a minute. If it uses two... Sorry, if we use one to grow it... Right, we use one to grow it. Then we put one into the machine and we get back two. It's not self-sufficient. Well, it's a self-sufficient doing nothing. Right. 
Right, no, we got to we got to feed it. Oh, it looks like going through the end reset my chat. How interesting. I told him he's probably already forgot. Autumn, what have I forgotten? Knowing I was going to say knowing X. Don't forget your storehouse. What? Yeah. <laughs> so, what does it say over here then? Commands only. Huh. So going through the end seems to break that. Fascinating. Um you won't produce any bone meal though, says Scalper Skid. Yeah, I figured that out too late. Right, so we're going to send bone meal from the overworld to the end. That's going to make the farm sort of work. Um, let's think about this. We'll need those. Actually, let's test this out first because according to that, that thing that we saw in that menu... Let's have a look. Uh, actually, it's the same. Each, no, it's not the same. You can use an Eye of Ender, an End Stone, or an Ender Pearl. All one of those. I think we'll use that because it's there. Although that means it then costs... Yeah, I think we might actually use Ender Pearls, believe it or not. Ender Pearls would be smart. And this one costs two because it's Lapis. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Okay. Right. You could still have... You could still... Let's see, read that again. You could still have it make bone meal and have bone meal imported. Yes, the MC Lizard, but it doesn't make any more than it uses. You need one to grow it. You need one in the recipe. So, <clears throat> the one that you gain is the one that you use to grow it. Therefore, it's nothing. Alright, so, we're going to have to think, think, think. And make sure we do this all correctly. So, first of all, clear the inventory of stuff and things. Because we need to sort of go back to square one. And then those things can go in there. And the healing potion can go over here. Right, so, first thing I want to grab is two autonomous activators. We're going to have one that bone mills and one that uh, harvests. And... Hmm, I'm just wondering if the speed of it is going to be an issue. It will, I guess, let's build one farm, and if it's really good, we'll go back and build another one. Right, these are both going to work autonomously. <laughs> I don't think that's the right word. Um, we can make an upgrade that allows them to take out of an ender chest, right? Because an autonomous activator is from thermal expansion, which means it should work like the other thermal expansion machines. Okay, so... We give one of these the means to extract from a chest, then we don't have to use a transfer node. So that is this thing right here. The recipe for that is that thing. So redstone, glass, and iron. Let's grab a piece of redstone. Seven pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why don't you use a harvester as a social gamer? I would just like to use something different. I would like to... I really like it when you get to use, like base components as opposed to just having a machine do it all for you so that's why I take the opportunity to do so uh, isn't that like the wrong way around nope okay so we have an upgrade that means one of those is going to take from a chest one of them needs bone meal one of them picks up the oh we need one to plant the thing as well no we don't no it doesn't what am I about plant right so one bone mills it, the other one is going to pick it up. No, it's going to break it. And then we need a vacuum hopper to pick it up. Yeah, is that what we want to use? Um, anyway, suggestions in chat. Alternative to vacuum hopper. If you want to put one in there, that would be good. Do you think the modern music is worse and has less artistic touch to it compared to 80s and 90s? No. Um, absolutely not. I think I think that kind of mindset of thinking about music like that is like not very clever. Like the music that exists in the past is still here for us to enjoy, and the music of the future can change and evolve and do new things. And you'll have your favourites, and chances are it'll be in the past because everything happens like behind us in some regards. Like a song is old from the second it's released because it's now part of the past. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> uh Galactic Nebula says you're doing a GCSE for two years on music. That's fantastic, man. Enjoy the heck out of that. Enjoy the heck out of it for me. <laughs> I wish I had picked music. 
back then. Um, right, okay, so once again, these things run by themselves. We're planting the bone meal. We're getting that from an ender chest, which I do not have, so let's grab ourselves one. We're going to need a diamond. We're going to configure it. Uh, we've already got white, so maybe we'll go... We're in the end and yellow-green, I don't know. Let's go yellow, yeah, like that. And then on this side we'll need to... Right, so forget the whole dying the sheep thing. <laughs> We're doing that now, apparently. Okay. So one on this side, one on that side. You know that most popular... The most, the most of the popular songs follow the same four chords. I do know that. I know a lot about how um, popular, uh, popular music is composed. Nikolai says, are you an In Flames fan? Not a big fan. They're alright. I've seen them live a couple of times. Okay, so, right, bone meal chest sorted out. We'll end a chest that on this side as well to get the bone meal to it. Uh, we could use Tesseract, but I'm not 100% sure about using that. So then that thing, this thing then picks it up and then we've got to put it into the ender furnace. So we need to test run this. Uh, we will need another ender chest for for ender pearls. That's going to be our fuel. Right, and then we need to find out if we can actually put the items in. If we can't automate putting the items into this thing, I'm going to cry. Uh, right, we could... Let's do a test run. Oh, didn't it require... Yeah, it required two of those. Right, so that's test one number one. What is going to interact with this thing? I bet nothing. Now that I get to it, I bet nothing. Right, two lapis. That's really good. Can we? That looks amazing. Can we use a hopper? I don't think I have any hoppers. Do we have any chests? <clears throat> Let's see if we can use that, if not this. Yeah, I've got a feeling, now that I've said it, it's really just turning over in my mind that this ain't going to work. Oh, you can use that. That's cool. Right, so let's try from the top, from the side. Let's give it some lapis. <gasps> it went in. Okay, okay. Uh, one, two. Right, those stack. That might not be a bad thing. That might not be a bad thing. Like, one fills up, then where does it go next? It goes into that slot, right? Ah, but then... How do you get the lapis in that order? Let's see if it will let us do it in a different order. I can see an issue emerging here. Okay, so let's say we go one, two, one. Ah, uh, I saw it. I saw it activate. It just needs more fuel. Okay. Okay. Does fuel go in from the sides? I think it does. Right. So we know how to get fuel in from the side. Okay. Who can? I need your help now. I need all your help. Nico, welcome to the stream. I need your help immediately. Um. <laughs> How are we going to get this thing working with, like, it needs to have two slots of this thing, so if one fills up it will roll over into the next, then one has to be guaranteed for Lapis. We need to create some sort of prequisite system here that says, have you got two of those, have you got a Lapis, let's chuck them in. But, when we do that, it's going to, no, no, no. If we have a full stack of items here, then let's say let's say that this is our flower, right? So we send in we send in one the first time to get it going. So that means that gets used as well as lapis. This one goes down to one less than a stack. The next time we send in two, it fills up. That one goes there, and then the lapis goes in. Right. So as long as we keep one under a stack inside the inventory, it's going to work. So then what we need to do is how do we tell it to put in particular types? Light Shadow says dropper dropper hopper hopper. <laughs> I don't not sure. As soon as it shapes you put two stacks in it. Well, one thing is to keep it topped up. If it's always topped up, it's gonna actually no, because what happens if we have three of those flowers in there and one lapis? So just put the lapis from the left side. Let's try that. Uh, I don't think that's actually going to help the issue. Nope, lapis doesn't go in there. Use droppers. Ah. Um. 
Oh no, I know what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Droppers. Let's think redstone. Huh. Don't know why I didn't think of that. This is this is gonna be an interesting one when you think about like the flow of items and stuff. Keep going over it in my head. We're gonna have to make sure that we've got lots of bone meal going through, because I think like once you run out of items, then you're kinda of stuffed because it's gonna like back up basically. Alright, so some more vanilla redstone here. Okay, we're not going to make them face in, just for the sake of demonstration. We activate three droppers, the right amount of items go in. So now, you know, when the lapis comes out, it goes into sync that puts it into the lapis first. And if it's full, it sends it to an ender chest to bring it back home. If uh, all of the ender lilies are going to go to the other two. So it's just a case of making sure that our farming for the, I call them ender lilies, for the flowers is faster than this. Right. Right, and then what would we need to... We could put a hopper on the bottom. Every time something comes out, we use a comparator. And then we send that signal back to the top to start it again. This might actually work. This might actually work. <laughs> My days. That pixel says, just joined. What's X up to? We're up to some redstoning, believe it or not. Some classic old school redstone with mods. This is what I live for. <laughs> I'm joking, but you know what I mean. When it comes to Minecraft, like I love the redstone challenges, and modded ain't quite like that. Right, let's chuck all of this in here. Don't need all of that. We do need our diamond. We do need our lapis. Our glass is just for whatever. We've got some bone meal. We definitely want some more bones, so let's take a small supply of us for now. X, can you try to duplicate a diamond? Toxic noob, the only way to do that is with... Uh, X Neo. So the one thing that I can't farm outside of sieves is diamonds. So I'm cool with that though. Um, we need to bring in ender pearls through an ender chest. How do we want to do that? How do we want to do that? We've got a retrieval node looking for them. We've got that right there. Oh, I guess we'd swap that around and have an ender chest here. So we need an ender pearl ender chest, which I'd like to do with lime. Lime dye. We don't have any. Let's go find some more lime dye. And we'll make some ender chests before we leave. It's shapeless, so you put one stack lapis, two stack flowers because they stack. Um, possibly. Possibly. I mean, the way that we're going to do it, we'll get it done. What you've got to think about, like... The, the first like, and most apparent solution sometimes... Well, most often will have a flaw... And it will most likely come from when the machine breaks. Like you'll probably, well, let's roll back that sentence. Not when it breaks, but what breaks it is when you run out of materials, right? So let's say all of a sudden you run out of flowers because of some reason. Um, then, then like it breaks and you can't, it doesn't automatically repair itself when it starts again. That's the kind of issue that I'm worried about. I don't want to take trips back and forth because it runs out. And so because we don't have an infinite supply of bone meal, that's probably going to happen, and I've thought of several ways it can happen, but it's it's kind of hard to explain. Mr. Hunter says, X, do you watch I'm a Celebrity? No, I think that show sucks, <laughs> to be quite frank. Uh, the whole I'm a Celebrity culture, just really dislike it. Uh, if the famous people are like people who contribute to society in really positive ways, then I'd be like for it, but it just seems like socialites all the time, and I don't really like vibe with that much. <laughs> Rant's over. Agreed. Haha, <laughs> says Python. Awesome, Python. Welcome. I don't know if you're agreeing with me or someone else, but welcome to the stream, dude. Assume I'm just playing the awesome redstone pace mod. Maybe add it to the mod pack. I love that redstone pace one, Jamville. Ah, oh, you got to tweet me that so I read it later and remember. I think I know what one you're on about. Did I only get two of that? Oh my god, I could have swore I brought... I was counting. I broke four. I'm sure of it. My magnet isn't on, that's why I'm being lazy. Being lazy, my magnet isn't on. It's just lying down there on the ground somewhere, isn't it? Come on, give me my dyes. Where did we fly around? Damn, that was silly. I forgot that was off. Any dyes for me? No. Any more lime dyes? I can't believe we're flying around looking for dyes. 
It's a bit silly, isn't it? Right, I don't see any lime over there. Just doing some pro lurking over here, says Python. Indeed. Lurking like a boss. Damn, we are not going to find this anytime soon, are we? I could have swore I broke four of them. Apparently not. Nope, none down there. Asuma, would you watch it if it was with the public? Probably not. I'm not really a fan of reality TV much. Oh look, there's a witch out there, so they must spawn out in the wild. It is 1.7 then. Oh, I'm going to find no more of these, am I? Do you know, maybe we'll just make it work with two. Do white, white, and then green. Exneo can get you bone meal from dust. Oh. That's interesting. Maybe we'll maybe we'll use the sieve to get that then. That's cool. That gives us a reason to make a dust farm. <laughs> Lewis97 says, Good lad, X. I'm a celebrity. It's so boring. I mean, it's not boring to everyone, but yeah, it's boring to me. It's boring to you. I know why. Just, I don't know. Some people are interested in it. Interested in it. Can't you combine dyes, says nigga? Do you know what? We're standing around talking about getting dyes. We just found out how to bloomin' make loads of them real cheap. <laughs> that that could be a really cool way to do a dye farm. Once we like step up our game here, we can make a dye farm with it as well. Oh, that sounds like a fantastic project. Okay. Right, so we need two more of these. I know what I'm doing here now. I think. I probably don't know what I'm doing. I seem to think I know what I'm doing too much. Right, so one and two. Some of this, some of that. And then some dyes. So we'll just put like that. That's our code for ender pearls. <clears throat> right, and one of those goes around the back here. Yes, yes it will. What I'm going to do is just put a transfer node to the side of it. Let's bring some of these with us as well. They might actually turn out to be useful. So that goes... Oh, wrong transfer node. Bam. Give it back. Oh, why does it... Oh, okay. <laughs> right, now we've got the correct transfer node. My voice is going to go croaky in a moment. Let me sort that out. The hamfish, thank you. Make a skeleton farm go to dark room and bone mill grass blocks, says Toxic Melon. I like this idea more. I've done that one before in vanilla. Okay, so Hamfish said, don't forget the chunk loader. Very good. Right, that is very cheap. Okay, obsidian, diamonds and a book. Uh, the books are in here. Just the one will do. One, two, three, four. Two diamonds. That's two diamond stacks. It's annoying that they work the opposite way around from one another. It really is. So that one you just click to get. And, oh, there's the third one. Weird stuff. There's our book, enchanting table, and golden and ender pearl. One, two, three, four, five, one. Ah, uh, it was like that, wasn't it? Right, there's our chunk loader. Okay, cool. So I think we're all good to go. I think that's it. We don't need anything else. X, drink your tea, says Ricky Media. It's done. We're done. All our... Actually, no, it looks a bit rough, that bit at the bottom. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, right. Uh let's build let's bring some blocks to build with as well, like some aesthetic just to maybe box it up a little bit. And then some cobblestone to work with. Let's take those blocks. And oh do you know what? Those other ones in there, they were the same type. Let's take a chest because inventory space. Let's take an iron chest. 
and a stack of cobble or stone. Right, let's go do this. I think we are well and truly prepared. You spot loaders instead, said Jesper Riffy. Um, I don't know which one to use. Spot loaders, I think, are going to be banned in the next update. Just chunk loaders is how it's going to work. I think. I don't know. Actually, no, they're not. They're not. They're part of the same like system. Never mind. Ignore me. Blam. Let's go through. And we could we could build this anywhere, right? We don't have to build it on the island. So let's grab a hammer. Let's get some of this stuff. Let's go build it like floating off to the side somewhere. And it's going to load that chunk. So yes, that's a very smart idea. Which ACDC singer do you like better? Bon Scott or Brian Johnson and why? Uh, I just like the guy who's on the uh, Back in Black record. Oh, apparently that's going to take a while to harvest. Mythbuster video on hoppers. For what reason? I'm going to not bother with that stuff. Come back and get that later. Right, and already my inventory's full. So, is there an easy way for us to place this down? Let's go off in this direction. Uh, we are going in the positive. Maybe we head to zero. Actually, no. Let's go... <laughs> Let's go closer to the platform, so it'll be a little bit easier to discover. Why? Is there anything to bust the hoppers? Nico, that's what I want to know. Why are we myth-busting hoppers? Right, so this thing appears to be on zero. That's good. Um, let's just... Oh, that guy was angry. Ah! And so was that one. How rude. Right, we're going to fly back over here a fair few chunks. And we'll probably cover this in water. Right, we are near the chunk border now. Right, this is the wrong chunk. Oh, and that's... Right, that's zero, 0 That's the corner of our chunk. Show your lasers. Radius of 1. Sweet, that's where we're building. That looks so cool. Noise in my ear. Let's go check it. We got a donation here from Night Reaper 1989 saying, Boop, me again. Welcome back, buddy. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation. Hope you're having a good time watching today's stream. I'm having a really good time. I like that we're going to be farming um, some lapis today. That's going to be fun. Hey, we can see the number right here. Yes, that's the edge. And the laser goes around it as well. That's cool. I should have brought a bucket of water with me, really, shouldn't I? Okay, so I think we're one block off. 15. No, zero, one. Oh, it's there. Yep, you can see the laser go through it. So we went over by one. Cool, that'll work though. Couldn't you get a wither skeleton in a safari net and put it in the MFR mob spawn thing? I could, possibly, I'm not sure. Uh, we did that already even. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did last time. That is exactly what we did last time. What is X doing, says Vicious Diamond? It, it, it feels like we're speed building because of the uh, music. Like, we've got, a, we've got a, a time limit. We've got to build something. We've got ten minutes to go. Do you use earphones or headphones? I use headphones and sometimes earphones. I use a mix, but right now headphones. What is Asuma doing, says Vicious Diamond? I never answered you, did I? Um, we are building a farm for Lapis. A lapis farm. Bam, there we go. Right, so this thing's going to be loaded around the clock. And when I'm not here, there shouldn't be any endermen. But we do need to cover this thing in uh, in water. Do you know what? I wish I'd have thought a little bit more about how we're going to assemble this. Because now I think it'd be cool to make it out of glass and put water all over the top. So I'm probably going to come back and do that. Therefore, let's start our platform somewhere down here. Uh, actually, no, the roof is going to have to be anti-enderman so our platform has to be here that's a good point actually most of this might need to be like two blocks high I don't think we're gonna get away with that we'll just we'll see what happens we'll build ourselves a little platform and go of it cool I reckon that'll work all right so we've put that into place let's turn this thing off X builders wand it's really handy you're absolutely right aren't you 
You're so right. <laughs> I cannot. I got no excuse. I got no excuse at all. Let's go do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. How much do we have left? Seven, eight. Probably that's it. And that is it, because you can see over on that side is a little bit missing. Okay. Let's put down our chest. This is going to be our project chest. And in there we're going to chuck all these things that we'll end up using. That should do for now. Right, so... Let's start off with the basic farm. We're going to have... How do we... Let's not try and make this super efficient. Let's get it going, first of all. Right, the orange on top is actually what we want. We want that to interact with... Something. <laughs> right, that's the one on top, isn't it? So, orange, blue, what colour should it be? I don't actually know. There's no, like, highlighted chest here, is there? Also, these things require power. Yeah, so I should have brought... I did bring Tesseracts, never mind. Right, so that means Tesseract between the two. We have the one that bone mills and the one that breaks. And then a vacuum hopper. Right, yeah, that's correct. Okay, so... Let's face that one down. Right, and these are going to need energy. So, a Tesseract there. Never mind about... This one's going to be the one that breaks now. So, we're going to use that Tesseract energy to break. We're going to left-click. And not sneaking. Aim level doesn't matter. Yep. That thing is configured. Also, it doesn't need this. The one on top, however, does. That one's going to... Right-click the bone mill. And we're going to get... Let's see, where's the input on this side? <laughs> it's always the last one. Okay, so that's going to be our input. We're going to put our chest over on this side. And what did I say bone would be? I don't think I did. That thing should be... Oh, it's not working. It should, in theory, be taking items right now. Ha. Huh. But it's not. We might have to use a transfer node. Can anyone tell me? Does that work? Allows for automatic transfer into a device. Is that going to work with the autonomous activator? That's what I need to know. Right, let's plop down a Tesseract for power. Put you on frequency 800 and set to receive only. Let's do that. Awesome. Right, they are now both being powered. That's great. Right, so this thing is breaking. This thing should be planting the bone mill. Right, then that one's going to break. Yep, so those two should work together to do that. There's nothing in the ender chest. Um, a moment ago, there would have been something in there. Which is why I did it that way. Okay, so... Hmm. Um, <laughs> that iron chest would be useful for testing that now, wouldn't it? See, I can't put anything in that while it's got 0, zero. So we need a code for bone mill. Uh, let's go with... I think we said lime and yellow, didn't we, for our bone mill? Lime and yellow. So that's the bone mill chest now. Let's put in the bone mill. Nothing's happening. I think we need to use the transfer node, so it looks like that doesn't work. They don't need power, says Johnny DL. Well, they were using power. <laughs> Oh, well, they were doing nothing. I seem to remember them not needing power, but apparently they do. Also, change the side from orange to blue. We just did that, and it's not working. Do you think a Samsung 900X computer is going to hold for a mod? All I know is that I got a Intel i5 processor. And absolutely no idea what a Samsung 900X is, or what mod you're trying to do. Okay, right. I, this isn't working. No one in chat's got... Yeah, a transfer node is needed. That is very apparent. Transfer node. Let's put this thing up by one. Uh, Was it that one? Yeah. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, do we have to configure the thing again? 
Yep, that's how we get it in there. Okay, cool. Oh, and it's already going. Well, there you go. <laughs> Let's not do too much of that. Right, so that works a charm. Now what we need is the vacuum hopper next to it. Uh, that's also connecting with that, which is something I don't want. And it's picking it up. Awesome. That seems to prioritise over my magnet, which is cool. Good to know. Okay, so that thing's going to do its thing. Then we can put, like, an output there. Okay. That could, like, output directly into <laughs> the thing. Oh, Filipino says, turn the chunk engine thing off. Blah, chunk loader, Filipino. <laughs> it is Phil. Why did I think it wasn't Filipino? No, it's Filipino. Oh, my God. Brain, please. I should, I should probably be embarrassed when I stream, but I don't really care. <laughs> uh, if, if, if I'm terrible, so be it. Uh, let's have a look. Yes, you can directly output to a chest. That's good to know. Right. But I don't think we actually want to do that. Let's think about what's next. So this design right here is sort of tileable. So that's something to consider. We could put these in a row. Although we're probably... Yeah, no. We'll put them in a row. So then we can output them somewhere else. Right, so Ender Furnace is next. What we need is a comparator. I forgot to make a comparator. Let's go back and get a comparator. Damn it, I forgot. <laughs> oh. You you are like an expert slash noob at Minecraft. T TMV ready, please explain how one is both an expert and a noob, because that contradicts itself. Just joined. What is he doing, says Zero... XTV Vision. Uh, we are making a lapis farm. Ooh. <laughs> Fancy lapis farm, eh? And we're making it with a comparator. Let's go craft a comparator. Do we have redstone torches? We do. And then we need some stone, which I do believe we actually already have. Let's make two of these. Why not? Feeling rebellious. That'll do just fine. Yeah, always forget the comparators, <laughs> says Brandon. Feels like it. You are good at some things in Minecraft, and others, like modded, you need work. Cheers! I think I'm a modded expert, really. I think it's just a facade that I pretend I don't really know what I'm doing. I think I actually like, understand everything perfectly. Bam! Let's go into this portal and fly over to our little chunk. This looks cool. Okay, I need to eat, apparently, before the chat goes mental. Don't... Oh, wow, we got a red heart! Oh, I've been waiting to get one of those for ages. Awesome! A new red heart. Sweet. We need to fight more mobs to get those. Bam, we're down to one bit of wheat. If I... If I run out of food here, I might just die. Oh, and apparently my chat has uh, reset itself again. Not that I don't want to talk to anyone, but while I stream, I have this turned off. Define modded expert X. Well, Brandon, basically, like, you know, I know everything about all the mods. No, I can't. I can't even fake that for a second. <laughs> what is Lapis, says CK2424. It is this little thing right here, Lapis Lazuli. Okay, we are going to place down, let's see, place down a block. Uh, where do we want to do this? A little bit further away. I've got a feeling this might take some space. So that's our output. When we get something there, we want to run the process over again, so we're going to use a comparator. That means we need a chest. It's going to be... Ah, I forgot to bring an ender chest. Damn it, I needed one more ender chest and I forgot. Okay, so I guess we'll use another hopper for now. In fact, we'll use two just in case we need the inventory space. So that's going to store items temporarily. Right, above that thing, we're going to have our end furnace. We're going to input our... Our fuel back here with this chest, and that should be full of ender pearls. Ah, it's empty. Well, wasn't that bone meal? Wait a minute. I didn't check this, did I? I put the transfer node the wrong way. Ah! Why didn't anyone warn me? <laughs> I did that wrong. Ah, someone probably did. I can't read every message. Fork says I'm on the I'm not on the server because you need another food delivery. I would love one. I have no food at all. Still haven't made a food farm. How are the emeralds going? Yep, I had a feeling that might happen. I'll swap them around. Do you know what? I think most times when it's full like that it says 60. I've got a feeling that might be the limit. And the others are just wasting away. So 
Why did we come back? Oh, I remember. Yeah, look, I put it the wrong way around. That's so foolish. Oh, and that also means... What does that mean? Also, where did my transfer node go? Weird. Um... Here's what we'll do. Temporary, I know it looks ugly. Oh, there's my transfer node. We'll do it that way around. Okay, we'll have this fixed soon. The Sunday reference is real. Brandon, I didn't make a reference. <laughs> I love it when I see that. Like, I, I record like a new series, or just even a regular episode of Hermitcraft, and there's some people like, oh, I love the Doctor Who reference, and I was like, what? <laughs> Doctor Who? I don't watch that. There's so much stuff. Anything you can say could be a reference. Another end of chests. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Ooh, that's not what I want. We need an item filter. Right, we're going to end up with loads of those in the wrong place now. Go back in that chest and the poop. One of those, please. Uh, stop what you're doing. <laughs> Be nice. Quickly. Because they're all just going through to the end now. There we go. Give me those back. This song's a bit sorrowful, isn't it? Oh, I got a 158 ender pearls right there. That's that's a bug. <laughs> okay, I think this thing sort of overfilled for a second there. Right, and it's taking those out and they're going up there. And the ender chest is eating them. Oh, they'll be filling up the hopper now, won't they? Why not take it out of the one that's already filtered? Uh, that one is putting ender pearls back into the system, not taking them out. We've got like an overflow, so it'll come back through. X, your chat is on. Oh my god, the chat. Oh my god, the enderman. Uh... It's a weird little bug, that. <laughs> Skinner Zone is like... Uh, sorry, Skinner Ownzy is like... Says the, the reference is real. Yeah, pretty much. Flippino has pointed out that we are close to 49,000 followers. Hey, X, do you enjoy eating hummus? I love hummus. I haven't eaten hummus in ages. I should eat some hummus. Oh my god, we took out way too many of those. Right, so that's fuel sorted out. So, so far, everything looks good. Next step is to do the droppers. Right, it's going to be not really tricky, is it? Just tedious. <laughs> Right. Droppers, we got them. Let's do that one first. Yeah, it's facing downwards. One. Two. Three. Okay, good. So, now we got to get... Ha. Huh. Get some of those items over there, over here. Yes, yeah, so that we have to do. Probably just using a pipe. Oh, we've got a donation here from Night Reaper 1989 again. It says, I'm going to order some Chinese takeaway. What do you want me to get for you? Oh, good, Chinese takeaway. Uh, can you get me some sweet and sour noodles, please? That would be absolutely love you. Uh, lovely. <laughs> Thank you ever so much for the donation, buddy. Hope you're having a good time watching today's stream. Don't eat too much takeaway. <laughs> it's not healthy. Every once and now then, it's just fine. But don't eat it all the time. Right, let's have a look. How do we want to do this? I think we can get away with putting redstone over because it gets powered. What? Didn't. I didn't bring any redstone. I didn't bring any redstone. Shame. <laughs> Shame on me. Let's go get some redstone. Oh. So a football all over there. How did I not think to bring redstone? How? <laughs> How is that even... Go down, not up. How is that even possible? The failure is real. The failure is absolutely real. There's Falks, hello! <laughs> Look at the way the wings waggle. That's cool. Bread delivery. Thank you so much. Awesome. Dimensional bread. Just in case you ever get peckish in another dimension. 
Oh, she's gone. <laughs> I was going to waggle the sword. Right, let's take some of that delicious redstone, which is uh, coming through in plentiful amounts. There we go. It's going to be more than enough. Right. Oh, my God. How did that happen? Over here, isn't it? Best memory skills ever, says Nobby Nuts. Yep, that's me. This is this is vanilla. Like, imagine this in vanilla. That's why it takes so long because I forever travel back and forth, picking up things that I forget, like poop. <laughs> yeah, wherever we go, whatever we have, we'll always have poop in our inventory. Okay, so we're going to do this. Yep. And then we're going to hook it up to that. Uh, which means we need a repeater. Ah, oh, didn't think this through. Didn't think this through knowing near enough. Hey X, I think I figured out the timing for the ender furnace. It takes 14 cobble and a repeater going into all the droppers for the ender furnace to process the lapis. Why would it need 14 cobble? That's what I'm concerned about. Do we have any repeaters? No, of course we don't. So we need some stone, we need some sticks, we need some redstone. Give me lots of redstone. And the sticks. Awesome. Okay, that should be enough. And that's a plentiful amount there as well. Right, so I probably want some more stone and, and lapis before we go back again. This is so silly. So silly. Cannot believe that's way too much stone. Why did it take so much? Two stacks will be fine. Let's chuck that in there. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> oh, apparently I searched repeater wrong because I typed it wrong. Brilliant. Thanks, chat. How do you spell repeater wrong? By typing in the wrong letters, obviously. Let's pop over here. Oh, that was weird. A bit of lag. Right, let's try again. For the umpteenth time. I don't know how long it's been now. Okay, so redstone signal goes up and across, and all is good. Yep, so that'll be... Item comes out. Let's get the items back in. Right, so we'd have lapis over here, which we'd need to feed back into itself. Oh my god, there's more things I didn't think about. Right, so the output is only ever going to be lapis. So if we have a transfer node here, I could do with just one more ender chest. Why didn't I bring an ender chest? Oh, okay. So we're going to get an item. Sorry, we're going to get a pulse from the hopper. We might not get away with the transfer node being there. Um, we'll find out. That's then going to go and put the items into the dropper above it. And if it can't, then it goes up to an ender chest above it. So it goes to that one first. And there might be a way to compact that, but I don't know. Won't the hopper get locked? Uh, Jay's on fire? It won't, because... Actually, you might be right. If it's... I can't remember if you can put the items in it and it's locked, or if it spits them out. It probably spits them out, knowing like my luck. Right, we need this thing over here to just fire at the moment and create us lots of... Uh, Lots of them things. There we go. Yeah, lots and lots of them. So we're going to have to fill up droppers worth. Ah, oh, it's going to take forever to set up. So let's give it a test. Why are we only have four? Oh, right, because we only got... Hmm. So it's seven in each. Nine. Wait, what? I can't figure out what's going on there. I put seven in, then it's... All of a sudden, the next level. Right, and it's out. Where are those bones? This thing needs bones immediately. Is 
It's getting late here now. Should I just go to sleep? If you feel like going to sleep, why not? This stream will be uploaded to YouTube, so it's all good. Right. Here's what we're going to do. Leave one behind. Put that in there. Then we'll get our two sets of ender flowers and lapis. They're going to go over here. Right. So let's simulate. Uh, is it me or is this thing actually just going to start working if it's not broken? Right, that's too fast for it. We need a chest. We need a chest first. I don't have a chest except this one. That's really infuriating, but I guess I could hold on to these items. Okay, iron chest. Transfer node. It's really intense for this music. Piece of lapis, where did you go? Right, let's simulate. I think because the item didn't come from above, it doesn't simulate. Brilliant. Uh, that just means... Like that. Two items have gone in and the lapis. Right. This might start the cycle. So, fingers crossed everyone. This might be it. Let's pray for something good. Yes! Yes, it worked! It didn't spit the items out. Oh, it's going to do it again. Alright. So it doesn't spit the items out, right? They go straight into the hopper even though it's locked. Yes! Success! Absolute success. Absolute... I'm going to say it again. Absolute success. Right. <laughs> Let's put some more in there. Some more in here. And now... We're just creating lapis. The number is going up. That's all you need. All you need is this right here. And you're making lapis out of thin air. Oh my god. It's actually working. So we need to automate this thing delivering those over here. We need to now get lots of bone meal. Right. And now I'm looking at this and wondering if we can compact it at all. If we had slime blocks we could a little bit. Otherwise I don't think you're going to get too much out of compacting it. Either way, it's a cool little machine, and the Enderman will be able to crawl over, all over this thing, so we'll make it Enderman proof at some point. <laughs> Bane of Cupcakes says, in before, why didn't you use this other mod? I didn't want to use the Civ, by the way, or, or the Ex Neo way of doing things. I wanted to do this because it would be fun, and it actually works. All my days, we are producing ourselves some Lapis. Cool, alright, so it's not finished yet, we need, if anyone on the server has like a supply of bone meal they'd like to temporarily donate into this ender chest to just keep the whole thing going, that would be amazing. Um, what I'm going to do is top this up, we'll get some more bones in here, we'll have to make a bone, mo bone, blah, 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 bone meal farm soon. And now we just need a way to input those over here, don't we? So we need some covers, we need some pipes. Yeah, that's what we need. So we'd have a transfer node here, that's going to fill up with those things. And what we'd probably do is use like more ender chests and hoppers, realistically. Put an ender chest there, and then hoppers on the side of that. Sounds cool. Use some transfer pipes. I was going to, now I think I'll use ender chests instead. That means more dyes, which I don't have, so maybe not. Maybe we'll just use those. Let's go get some covers. Don't you have a wither farm for bones? Nah, we sort of took the... We're using it for redstone now. It didn't really work out with the beheading, which I wanted, so... I guess we could farm skeletons there as well, but I need something permanent. I need something that like chucks it in around the clock, and at the moment that farm isn't really sufficient for that. Right, so, what did I say? We need some covers. Oh my god, we had covers all along, so we've got ender pouch that has our saw. Right, so now we just need... Oh no, I said I wouldn't do it with ender chests. So we came back here for nothing, right? I think that's correct. Autumn says, could you please use an ender collector on the lowest setting? Change by right-click empty hand when it's placed. Instead of vacuum hopper, they lag serverless. Also, your chat might change again. Um... Ender Collector, okay, let's try that. Actually, it's funny you mention that because I saw that the other day, looked up the recipe, looked up what it did, and I really liked it, and I thought, I want a, I want a reason to use that. So, Obsidian, Ender Infused stuff. 
Was it three obsidian and then two ender pearls? So that's going to be our new collector. Cool, we got three stacks of obsidian. Right, I think we can head back. Oh, I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting. Oh, I do. I am. I am. I am. Um, I need one of these with a diamond. That's it. Then we're done. Bam. Okay, cool. Okay. Alright, let's get this thing going. Is it still running? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to use the Ender Collector instead. Right, I'm still picking up first, though. I'm shift clicking. Oh, I've got a shift click. Wait a minute. How do I interact with that? Oh, that's got 64. Right, let's see. It's not picking anything up. What did Autumn say again? Right click with an empty hand. I don't think that works, Autumn. Oh, now I don't see any items on the ground. Oh, maybe I did. Okay, I don't think that actually works. Let's use the uh, vacuum hopper then. X still need. Does X still need. I'd absolutely love some bone meal, buddy. Any you want to contribute would be amazing. Right, how much lapis? Oh my god, we're actually producing lapis. This thing works. Okay. There's Nobby. Hey, buddy. Um. Covers. Covers is next. Let's grab our sword. Let's make some stone covers. Cool. Okay, so one on that side. One on that side. Uh, doesn't the pipe go there first? I think it might. Yeah, it has to go there first. Weird. So I don't want it to connect like that. Pipe. That thing, that thing. Cool. And then... That needs to just go over here. So we definitely need to learn how to compact this thing. But that is a lapis farm now. It should automatically start putting the, uh, the ender lilies in. Right, and then if that fills up, it's just going to waste what's going on there. So what we would do is create a buffer and use a comparator to lock this when it's full. That's going to be fun. I didn't throw away that as well, did I? So we might actually be able to get away with making that. Um, let's say you got... Let's do this with stone. In order to lock it, you need to power that. I don't think you power the ender chest. So we might need a bit more space here. Um, or we get some other sort of direction on. Um, actually, I think we do that and that and that. <laughs> uh, then we put some sort of storage here. So temporarily a dropper. Let's point our first pipe into that. Cool. And then this thing transfers here. Cool, so now, so now when this is full, uh, no, it won't yet. We need a block of redstone. I don't have a crafting bench. Yes, I do. I always have a crafting bench because we've got this. And I've got to swap back because my redstone is there. Amazing, amazing stuff. Cool. Right, subtract mode, bam. And that's not going to store anything because it's going to put them straight over here at the moment. Make sure these are full again. They're not. Right, so... Did we get some donations of bone meal? No. Or maybe we did. Wait. 
it's all in there at the moment. So, yeah, someone definitely donated. But oh wait, we've got all of this over here. Forty-two thousand. My days. Let's. Uh, I think this breaks when you pick it up. Yeah, I got a feeling it will. Actually, I'm pretty confident it will. <laughs> Let's not have a disaster here. <laughs> I'm, I'm really worried this is just going to spill into the void, so let's do that. Grab this. I reckon, I reckon that's going to get picked up by the uh, vacuum hopper. Also, is that thing picking up too fast for it? We need speed upgrades over here now. Right, now I'm picking them up. Okay, let's do this. X, my days are numbered, says TB and Ready. All our days are numbered. Whoa! Right, did we get... Oh, don't tell me we're going to get the stuff that we need last. Of course we are. Uh-oh. I didn't think that one through. <laughs> oh! Autumn is here to help. Thank you, Autumn. Alright, alright. There is the void... What? Void upgrade? Destroys excess items. That doesn't sound good. Right, where is the drawer? There it is. Got it. Right, so now what we need is, like, a block, <laughs> a drawer, and then the upgrades for the drawer. Bam! Incredible. What is that right there? What is going on? Oh, why has that got a thing on it? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea how I did that. That was weird. Let's grab... Oh, my inventory's full, isn't it? Bam, like that. Good stuff. Okay, this has been horribly derpy. Horribly, horribly derpy. Oh, what is that thing doing? Oh, right. How did he get that to collect? Oh, maybe it doesn't interact with a transfer node. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, so you have to get it to go into a chest first. Right. Okay. Uh, we could then use that same chest with the comparator, maybe, to power that thing. Let's take this apart, then. Let's also chuck some items in here. That thing, by the way, is still making lapis, isn't it? Yep, up to 58. Incredible. It's not very fast. But we're making lapis. Right, so this thing... I already have one. I think what we want to do is make it backwards, which is going to sound a bit strange. So, comparator. Where did comparator go? Let's find out. X, you're so, so serious, says TMB Ready. Maybe I am sometimes. I can also goof around as well. I just... I broke it a second ago. There it is. It's in that chest. Right. So, we're going to power that when our chest is full. No? How did I do this? Oh, right. So... Ugh. <laughs> Wherever the chest is, this has got to be behind it. Right, I think what's going to... We have the chest there, transfer node there. Ah, actually, it'll probably work. Okay, let's grab that chest. And the chest is on the ground. Of course it is. Right, chest goes here. Ender collector goes on top. Right, this time it's collecting. That's weird. That actually appears to be collecting. So we'll put all of our things right here. And now we're saying... Right, that should be powering this. It should be locking it. Why isn't it locking it? Maybe it is. Let's take out the bone mill. It is locking it. Alright, cool. Okay, so... We can make a small buffer or a big buffer for these. 
but for now we'll do the smallest one possible. Hopefully all of you are, are like following this. So now we connect here and then it will start moving the items. Where are my pipes? There they are. Okay, so that thing's going to move items. Let's simulate the moving of items by helping it out a little bit. Okay, and then at some point it's going to get low. Let's let it go down. I'm going to. Uh, Milo's been asking over and over again if there's an ACDC concert, would you go? There was an ACDC concert. The tickets were like £70, and I said that's an absolute rip off. And I've seen, I've seen ACDC play at download, and they refused to be a part of the download lineup. They were like. Oh, it's not download, it's ACDC plays at Donington when download happens. And they didn't appear on any of the t-shirts or on the bill. They were just there with their own stage in the same venue. It was so weird. Like, really obnoxious attitude. Okay. This is working. And this is now only making as much as it needs, right? Look, it stops after a while. So if we put a signal next to the comparator, we can make it keep a, a buffer in this chest but for now I think we'll just leave it like that use it when you need it dimensional bread in the second hot bar that's true oh also some of those oh yeah it needs to go back doesn't it let's stand over here ah, we're, we're full all right well that has been a fantastic project hasn't it Let's chuck our uh, ender things in there and it'll stop making them now. Right, so last thing last is to plop this down, put a diamond on it. Uh, then we're going to open this bag, put that in there and that in there because that's clutter. Take this thing back. That's our master input, by the way. So if ever this is full, it's going to take from our master input. How cool is that project? We are now farming lapis. If only there was a way to make this a little bit smaller, because now we've got to have a big old buffer of lapis there. It's so cool. Right, and we've got to think about ways to make this all a little bit nicer. Uh, what we could do is put one of the droppers on top facing downwards, but that doesn't really compact it in our favour very much. Um, if you had, if you wanted to make this one wide, you could have droppers going across and one on top, but then how would you get the things into there? You'd have to use a transfer node. Which I might end up doing, because if it was one wide, you could take the signal out here, sort of run it over the top. Interesting. If we can make that one wide and tileable, that would be amazing, but with the redstone wire, it wouldn't be tileable. Uh, you could always have it space by space. Anyway, this is just the beginning. I think once we get a bone mill farm, we're going to make something cool with this. Awesome, right. Let's put the rest of our uh, flowers in here. And let's leave this thing running. That is so cool. I love it. We've made a lapis farm. It's absolutely brilliant. So, let's plop myself down on this edge here. I want to say thank you to everyone who uh, donated this stream. We didn't have any new subscribers today. Ah, <laughs> It's all good though. Thank you everyone for coming along and watching and uh, hitting that follow button. If you haven't done already, of course, hit the follow button and uh, check me out on YouTube. If you don't know, I do YouTube. This is going to be uploaded to the second channel as well, so you can catch it over there if you only caught a little bit of it. And uh, that's going to be it from me this live stream. Thank you ever so much everyone for watching. And we're going to do a raid, as always. So, don't go anywhere. What? No, don't close the window. Stop. You're not allowed to do that. So we're going to do a raid right now. We're going to do a raid. We're just going to go and check the Hermitcraft group. See if anyone there is streaming. Have a look for another channel as well on Minecraft. And I'll pick someone out and we'll do a little raid. How about that? Does that sound good? Yes, hopefully it does. Right. Force is streaming. We raided Force yesterday, so let's check and see if uh, another channel is streaming. Let's do a little search. Ah, oh, they're not. Okay, we're going to raid Force today then, since the other channel isn't live. Um, so yeah, I'm going to post the link in the chat. I'm going to host it. Just go over and check out um, Full Symmetry. She'll be streaming right now, probably playing Fallout again. And yeah, that's going to be it from me. So thank you for watching. And